Hopefully it's not too echoey this time because last time it kind of was. Okay, um, welcome back to my channel. Uh, as you can see, I am back in the greenhouse today. Last time I wanted to do something that was a little more outdoors, kind of just like relaxed. And I did mention doing a entire greenhouse tour. And I said that I was going to do it like a while from when I posted that video, which I think was a month ago maybe, or a little less than a month ago. But I reorganized a bunch of stuff. I sold a bunch of plants and just opened up a lot more room so it felt much like neater in here. And I really only wanted to keep things that I enjoyed growing and kind of just like had a lot more excitement behind growing them um, than my more like starter anthuriums that I had, which is a lot of the stuff that you guys saw in the video where I introduced the greenhouse um, when I first set it up. And so a lot of things have changed. I've gotten a lot of new plants, a lot of new growth, and yeah, I think it just looks a lot better than it did then. And I just want to do another like greenhouse update or a greenhouse tour. Um, because it has been a few months since I did that original video and since I set up the greenhouse in the first place. I think maybe like four months ago maybe or around there. And yeah, that's kind of just what, what today's video is going to be about. It's going to be a greenhouse update slash like an Ethereum tour. And in the future, I definitely want to grow more in terms of learning how to hibernize anthurium and eventually like grow my own anthurium hybrid so it's going to be getting a lot more fun and a lot more you know different things and kind of just like cool things that you're seeing that i'm mixing together so yeah i'm just really excited i love documenting where my collection's at in a certain time and a few months from now i know i'm going to be looking at this video and being like whoa like you know, I'm planning to set up a whole nother um, tent that was actually my boyfriend's before, but he moved and he just didn't have space for it. So he gave it to me to use for, you know, up until we get a bigger space. And I'm planning to set it up in this room, the plant room, obviously, <laughs> right next to this tent and start using it as a kind of like hibernizing tent. So when my anthuriums are flowering and most of like my flowering anthuriums are getting to their third or fourth inflorescence that they've given me which is around the time that they're like mature enough to pollinate or like really like push out seeds as they're flowering and after i've pollinated them i plan to move them into te that tent so that way i can just like kind of keep a closer eye on them and I'm planning to have the shelves in that tent because it's just a bit smaller than this one but it only has one like one set of shelves on each side instead of like being two shelves long hopefully i explained that well <laughs> but basically i'm just gonna have seedling domes on each side and that's where i'm gonna raise my seedlings um which i'm really excited for and that's a change that i'm hoping to make within probably the next two or three months when I should be seeing more like mature inflorescence from my anthuriums, like my mother plants. So yeah, like I said, I just really wanted to like document, oops, oh my gosh. I just really wanted to document like where I am at with my collection currently and just what everything looks like, just for something fun for me to look back on. So yeah, um, I'm gonna start out with just going around all of the anthuriums that I have on this top shelf and then afterwards I'm going to take you guys through my boxes like my propagation boxes and then all of my seedlings and my smaller plants that I'm growing out um but let's get into it we'll start off with this side well we'll start off with this side I guess and yeah I'll just talk about my plants which this might be a little bit of a longer video so before we dive into it, grab some snacks, grab a blanket, get cozy, I don't know, we're gonna be here for a while. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna be starting from left to right, at least my left to right. Um, I moved a little bit closer, so hopefully you guys can just see things better and it's not as far like away, so you get a little bit better 
detail, I guess. Um, I am also just going to be sharing some like tips for growth, some different things that I've been doing. Maybe for some of the Ethereums in here, I can include pictures of like their progress that they've made. I also want to show you guys like my growing mediums and kind of just like, I guess, give tips and advice of things that I've done for my Ethereums and like things that I do for my Ethereums that help out in my opinion and have helped a lot with getting like fast and continuous growth with like top growth and as well as like rooting anthurium so yes i will be rambling a lot i just want this to be more of like a video on the informational side so just putting that out there okay so let's start out with this guy right here this one right here is an Anthurium Wonder Boy and Papillomamium. I'm not quite sure where it like originated from. I got it from a seller off of a Facebook plant purge, I'm pretty sure. So here is that. Hopefully you can see that one. And it actually has a new leaf on the way. I don't really know if you guys can see that little growth point right there. It looks like the tip of the leaf might have gotten damaged because I did recently um, repot this into here. And <laughs> if you guys are wondering why they're in Starbucks cups, I recently bought a soldering iron, I think that's what it's called, which is basically just like a metal rod that gets really hot so you can like poke holes in plastic and stuff like that. And I've just been using a bunch of cups um, because I don't like spending money on pots if I don't have to and I can just make my own. And in my opinion, I really like having holes on the side of the pots just for like better airflow and better drainage for the roots. Um, just because Anthurium really don't like to be sitting in moisture, at least like very heavy moisture. They do like to stay damp but not like wet. So this is kind of a way that I've found to help with making sure that roots don't start to rot or just stay wet for too long. And it also doesn't cost me any money, so that's really nice. I think you guys are going to actually see multiple Wonder Boy um, paps in this video because I think I have about three in total um but this is probably the most mature one that i have at the moment and i plan to just let this one grow out and become a mother plant in the future these guys have been super super like easy to grow i have been like able to divide them multiple times i think at one point i had like five divisions and i sold a few of them but yeah, they're just, they're super quick growing, very, very hardy ones, and just really pretty overall, like very velvet. I'll show a picture of what the emergence look like because they come out kind of like a bronze, like brown tone, and they're also sparkly, which is really cool. Yeah, I would definitely give this like a 10 out of 10 on the emergence. They're really, really pretty. Okay, so moving on to this one. Um, this is another one that I recently acquired um, as of, I would say, two months ago or around there. And when I got it, it was just, I think like a two or one leaf cutting. And it's obviously grown quite a bit since then, which has been really cool to see. This is a Anthurium Delta Dawn crossed with a Papillomamium. And I think it definitely takes on more like Delta Dawn traits from what I can see, but you can definitely see like the path in there a little bit. I'm not sure if it's crossed with like a repap or what exactly it was crossed with, but I really like Delta Dawns for like their shape and like the hibernizing options that you have with them. So I wanted to have something in my collection like that that I could eventually turn into a mother plant. Honestly, I'm not sure if I want to keep this one though. I mean, I have something else that I'm going to like go over in this video that is really like it's really similar and I kind of like it better honestly. I think I might sell this one at some point just because I don't see the purpose of having like 
two different but like very similar in theorems when I like the other one better. <laughs> Well, honestly, I don't really know. I do really, really like this one. Um, it's been a very easy growing one for me. And it's also giving me a new leaf already. It does have a very cool, like, leaf texture and, like, leaf shape to it, though. It's very, like, heart-shaped, but kind of, like, waxy in a sense. But it's got that shimmer to it. Yeah, I don't know. It's a pretty cool hybrid. Okay. Next one, I'm going to show you guys. Um, this is another one I've been kind of contemplating selling. Just because, I don't know, I think I have some stuff that looks like very similar to it. And I just haven't really been enjoying it as much. But it is starting to get a lot more mature. And I'm hoping that as it matures, it, you know develops better traits i guess at least traits that i like more because it is a very pretty one but like i said i just have stuff that i like kind of look similar but i like better so this is my anthurium voodoo child this is an update um from the last video that i had or like from when i did the anthurium haul that included this guy as a seedling and it was just like a little two leaf baby it was so small and it's been really really fun to watch grow and it also does have like very very pretty emergence i think it's just like when the leaf hardens off i just am not really like drawn to it um but it is giving off a new leaf so that is exciting because i am very interested to see what this one looks like when it's more mature if you can see that new leaf coming in there Hopefully you can. Yeah, but here's my beauty child. All right, moving on. This is actually another update from that Anthurium haul that I did. This right here is a, I think an Anthurium SKG silver and a um, Anthurium red crystallinium. So it's actually a pretty cool hybrid because I do really like both of the parent plants. The emergent colors on it are super nice. I don't even know how to explain it. They're just like rainbow colored. Um, it, yeah, it's a really nice one and it actually is putting off another leaf. So that's really cool. I did repot it while it was putting this leaf off because it was so root bound and it was drying up like every day. And so I just repotted it um, because I didn't want to kill the new leaf from like drying out too much. And it actually looks like it's been really, really happy with the repot. I think maybe that was like four days ago and I can already see new roots growing up against the walls. I mean, it's got a really good root system. So I'm hoping that I get like more mature leaves from this plant and same as the other one, see what it looks like when it's more mature. So yeah, here's that guy. The next one that I have here is a Anthurium Black Beauty from the same seller that I got the Voodoo Child from. I don't know if it was in that video. I think I might have gotten it like after that video was made. Um, but when I did get it, it was another very cute little seedling and it's really just like taken off since then. It's like constantly putting off new leaves for me. It actually has another one on the way. So yeah, it's a pretty fast grower. Um, the roots, I haven't like gotten to look at them since I got this plant, but I'm assuming that they're really healthy. I decided to switch to like a more of a walkthrough um, video because I wasn't sure if things were like looking blurry and I just like checked the footage and it doesn't look too great. So I'm just gonna actually like go through um, that way I can see what everything looks like. Um, so I'm sorry for the change up. I wanted to do something that was like sit down and kind of a little bit more clean looking I guess. Um, but this is gonna have to do. I don't really know what I left off on. Um, we went through these guys already. You guys haven't seen this one. So we're gonna start off back like where I was. 
which was this blue velvet right here. So this one right here is actually a update from I think a few different videos. Like you guys have like seen this anthurium in. This is my Forgetii dark form and this is the most recent leaf that it gave me. This was the one before that. It recently did get a repot and I have been messing around a little bit like with the mediums that I use for my anthurium. This one's a little more on the chunky side, but this is basically what like all of my potting mixes look like. And I really like to use these orchid pots because they have holes on the sides, um, kind of like what I was talking about with the pots that, well, pots <laughs> that I make for like the same idea as an orchid pot, but I don't spend money on it. <laughs> um, moving on from that one, we have this really cool hybrid right here. This is a Anthurium Luxurians crossed with a red crystallinium, and this is actually an update as well from the past videos that I've done. This leaf right here is the newest one that it's given me, and it actually has a new leaf on the way. And I did recently pot it into like the self-watering pot, which I have been really, really liking. Just because I am a bit of like a forgetful waterer and it looks like this one's been really enjoying it. This anthurium has such good like emergence as well. Um, if I can, I'll put like a picture in somewhere um, because it comes out with red veins. And it's very dark and I'm very excited because it actually has a new leaf on the way let me try to focus on that I don't know if you guys can really see that but that lump right there is actually a new leaf and look at these roots it looks to be like it's really enjoying where it's at so there's that one the next one I'm going to show you guys, this is where my red crystallinium um, papillomamium hybrid lives. Um, you guys saw this in the last video that I posted in my top 5 favorites. And this is actually a update on that leaf um, that I had in that video. I'll show like a snippet or like a picture of what it looks like. And then right here it's got a new leaf, uh, leaf coming in which is really, really exciting. I think that was maybe like just about a month ago that I posted that and this is what it looks like now. So it has sized up a lot, as you can see. I'm gonna measure it really quick out of just like pure curiosity to see how big it is. Okay, so it's about, it's about 17 inches. Hopefully you guys can see that. Oh, uh, well, it's about 16 inches, I would say. So that's really cool. And I actually noticed that this anthurium is looking like it's, oh, don't mind this. These are eggshells. <laughs> I know it's kind of weird, but I sprinkled like crushed eggshells on top of some of like the soils, um, just out of like pure curiosity to see if, it would do anything for the plant. I didn't really like notice any difference, but I don't know, we do that for our outdoor garden. So I was like, why not do it for my indoor garden? <laughs> um, so it looks kind of stupid right now. Um, but <laughs> like I was saying, I noticed that it actually looks like it has a flower coming in right here on this last leaf that it put out. And then it actually has two points, like growth points that are gonna eventually grow into pups. So I can separate those off and have multiples of this plant, which is really cool. And then it has a, another growth point right here, which is gonna be the next leaf that it puts out. So yeah, I this one is just, it's going crazy right now. So really, really enjoying growing this one. And it, it's just absolutely gorgeous.
And then just to talk a little bit about these pots that I've been experimenting with, um, the company is Smart Pot and they're like fabric um, gardening pots and they're supposed to help with like airflow to the roots and something about like helping your plants not become root bound um which i'm not sure how well that works for anthuriums because like in the picture that it showed it was it looked more like strawberries or something with like very fine like hair like roots um which anthuriums have very thick kind of like ropey like chunky roots um like as you can see here it's very very chunky not like fine um so yeah i'm not really sure if the root bound part is true but i think definitely aeration has been like really good for this plant yeah i've just been i've been enjoying this pot and i actually bought some more because i bought this one as an experiment just to kind of like mess around and see if it you know grew well um and like worked well for my anthuriums and as you can see it has <laughs> so i'll be definitely switching some more anthuriums into those pots um, which actually leads me to this guy right here, um, my Anthurium Bessier, which has become very, very root bound within like maybe a month from my last tree pot, which is insane. This was the last leaf that it gave me, and I think it measures over like, probably like 14 inches, so it's gigantic. Um, it has some of like the coolest emergence that I have seen. Um, it comes out kind of like a bronze, like, yellow color with a very, very, like, pretty sinus and sparkly veins. It actually does have a new leaf on the way, but let me just show you how root-bound this plant is. It's crazy because, like I said, I, like, just repotted it not that long ago. Oops. But look at those roots. They are crazy. Yeah, I actually need to water this one. It's been drying out so fast, so I definitely need to get it in a bigger pot before that leaf that it's putting out really starts to develop because I don't want to have any like damage and issues with that. So maybe I'll do that later on today after I'm done recording this. So if we move down here, this is actually a update from that seedling video that I got or from that like anthurium haul that I did a while ago. It's a blue velvet ace and pap hybrid, I think. I don't know, blue velvet pap ace, something like that. Um, and it has been growing very, very well for me and I... I've been really liking this one because it has a very like matte kind of blue shimmer to it when the leaf hardens off and the leaves themselves as like they emerge they're very pretty so this is the newest leaf that it has on it and I actually just recently repotted this into one of my little like makeshift orchid pots and look at the roots that it's got on it. They have been going absolutely insane. And I think I did that maybe like a week ago. Yeah, so it's a very, very happy one. All right, so moving on, we'll go over this guy right here. This is the newest leaf on my Anthurium Morquianum, aka my Queen Anthurium. I need like a video of me holding it next to me because it's it's definitely about as long as my torso, probably longer. This plant's just absolutely insane. And I did recently also give this one a repot because um, it was drying out so fast. The pot that it was in was pretty small and like the medium wasn't very like good. So I put it into something that would be a little bit more moisture retaining just because Queen Anthuriums really don't like to dry out from what I've found from mine at least. But 
but yeah, it's it's a stunner. And it actually has been trying to give me flowers. So it recently tried to give me like a weird little like mutant flower that barely even came out and it was like tiny. <laughs> so I ended up just cutting it off, but it has reached like flowering maturity. So um, maybe I'll get around to making hybrids with this one at some point. Um, that would be really cool. Moving on, um, we're going to go over this guy. This is my another like prized one of mine. <laughs> this is a Carla X Pap and I want you to ignore the spider mite damage that you can see right there and just appreciate how dark this one is and how cool of a like leaf shape that is. It's just very dark and like pillowy. And I actually did recently take a cutting from it and repot it because it was just so root bound. And these are what I'm seeing like popping out. So you can see some new roots coming in right there, a new one right there. And some really good looking roots on this side. As well as a new leaf, which is really, really exciting. Also, if anybody is curious as to why there's so much room in between the soil and like the lid of the cup, it's basically so that way as my plants grow, um, I can kind of just like upsize their pot by filling in this empty space um, instead of having to like disturb the plant and repot it. Just because Anthurium growth patterns, as you can see right there, it's got like that chunky nub um, but as it puts off more leaves, aerial roots will come out of, like, those chunky nubs and start to want to, like, grow into the soil, obviously. So it's nice to just, like, fill around those aerial roots to encourage, like, better growth. And I actually have a better example with the next plant I'm about to show you. So this right here is my Anthurium clarinervium. It's one of my first anthuriums as well as one of my largest ones. Here's the new leaf that it gave me, which is very, very big. And here is kind of a good example of what I've been talking about or like what I was just talking about. This right here is an aerial root. Ignore these little stems, those are old leaves that have died off and I just cut off. Um, but it actually does have a new leaf right here as well coming in. So that's very exciting. Um, as you can see, this plant is very, very well like rooted. Um, honestly, a little too much. It is in need of a repot because look at those roots. Those are just like worms. Mm, crazy. Here's some of the older leaves. And if you guys are wondering what this is, this is a watering bulb um, that I was kind of just like experimenting with um, because this plant dries out, I would say within like three days probably after I water it with just like how hot it is in the tent with like summer weather and like summer heat. I mean, right now it's already dry and it feels like it needs to be watered. Yeah, it, it's in need of a repot, <laughs> but still very pretty. So I'm gonna put this guy back and we're gonna move on to this one right here, which is actually a, another like recent one that I've got in my collection. This is a um, Warquanum Forgetii Red Crystallinium Hybrid, I believe. And it's a really, really interesting looking one. This is the newest leaf that it gave me, but they do keep like that very cute little pinkish red sinus, which is really cool. And they're just very velvety. It's also very well rooted and mature. So it's actually flowered, I think like twice for me. So this is definitely gonna be one that I include in making hybrids with. 
I definitely think that this with like a Carla pap would be really cool together. Or maybe even like with my Bessier, that would be really interesting. But yeah, so moving on, this is a really cool one. So this is actually one that I got imported from Indonesia um, from a company named Cartel Duan. And I really wanted to do a Ethereum haul from them because I think I got like maybe like seven or eight in that haul. Um, but there was just a lot going on at that time and I just didn't have like motivation or time to really sit down and do that. But when I got this plant, it was much, much smaller than it is now. This is the most recent leaf that it gave me and this was the leaf before that. I actually think this might be the only leaf that it's given me. I think it might have actually come with this one. But it does have a new leaf on the way, which is really cool. And the roots have been absolutely insane. If we look at that. So here's a good look at that. Yeah, so I'm really excited to see the new leaf on this guy. Okay, and moving on to one of my absolute favorites. Um, this is actually a, another update from the last video I posted um, because this leaf was much, much smaller. This is my Anthurium um, Red Crystallinium with its new leaf. Actually, before it began to really put out this leaf, I had given it a repot into something bigger um, with more air because I had noticed that some of the roots looked like they were getting kind of like brown and mushy. Um, and I think it was because it was in a pot that was very like limited on airflow. I think it only had like one drainage hole in it. So I swapped it out for this orchid pot instead, which I have noticed that it does dry out a little bit faster than I would like it to. So I'm thinking of putting it into actually like one of those grow like bags, the fabric pots. Um, but I mean the root growth since I repotted it has been really, really good. You can see a lot of new ones have developed. And then that new leaf is just so pretty. And I want to show you what the leaves look like when they harden off because they're really pretty. This is the last leaf that it gave me. And it's pretty large. Um, so this one is going to be huge. I'm assuming, like I'm expecting it to be very, very large, which is really exciting. Because this is just a really good quality one. It's almost like a blue, like emerald color. And it keeps that very nice little red sinus in there with the veins being a kind of like pinkish, peachy color. So yeah, definitely one of my top favorite ones, obviously because it was in my last top five video. So <laughs> it hasn't moved from there. So I'm really excited about this one. Okay, moving on to the next one. Um, we've got another update here. This is my Ralph Liam or Ralph Lauren crossed with a Fort Sherman. I actually just recently repotted this one as well and the roots have just been taking off. And I'll show you what they look like. Got some new roots coming in right there. And you can see some beginnings of very nice roots right there. And then it actually has a new leaf coming in at the same time, which is really cool. I love anthurium roots. I mean, look at that. It literally looks like a gummy worm. <laughs> this leaf too, this is going to be absolutely insane. I mean, this one is a pretty good sized leaf. And the emergent colors that this one has when they're coming out, they're just so insane. 
So I'm really excited about this guy. Okay, so I'm gonna put that back and move on. So these are actually philodendrons. I'll include them in this video since I'm just gonna do like an overall tour. Um, starting out with this red Anderson right here. I'm not very like big on philodendrons, obviously, um, because you know, most of everything in here is anthurium related, but I mean, look at that. It's absolutely gorgeous. And then I actually have another philodendron growing behind it. This right here is my philodendron gigas. That's been sizing up really, really well. And it actually has a new leaf coming out. I don't want to turn this around right now because it's kind of difficult, but um, on the back of like this grow pole that I have set up for it, the roots are so chunky um, and just doing really, really well. So I'm happy that I got it growing up this pole because it's been a lot happier since I did that. So yeah, there's that guy. Moving on, we'll start out back here. This is actually a, another like newer one that I got. This is a Anthurium Bessier crossed with a dark Ace of Spades. Um, this one has just been so happy since I got it and put it in this pot. I mean, look at those roots, hang on. The roots have gone just absolutely insane. And it's got a new leaf on the way right there. So that's really exciting. Um, it is a bit leggy up top. So it's definitely at some point going to need a new repot. But I'm just going to let it grow in a little bit more. Because I think it can definitely fill out this pot a little bit better. And I'll probably wait until after this leaf is done emerging to repot it. But I know as soon as I cover up those little nodes, they're going to take off. I'm really excited to see what the new leaf on this guy looks like, though. I think this one's just so pretty. I mean, Bessiers are definitely, like, one of my favorites. And Ace of Spades are also, like, another one of my favorites. So it's the best of both worlds, in my opinion. And then moving on down here, this is my Anthurium Michelle crossed with the Michelle that I got pretty recently. Um, and it just gave me this new leaf like a few weeks ago. And I did actually recently repot it, but I think I might have done a mix that's a little bit too chunky. I can definitely see that the roots are coming in really well but it's been drying out pretty quickly um, and I'm kind of worried about like any kind of damage if I forget to water it or like let it go for too long without watering. So I might put it into something different. It does have a growth point coming in right now, but I think it's like, it's very underdeveloped. So I could definitely swap it into something different, but <laughs> I also don't like the idea of disturbing it after I literally just repotted it like a week ago maybe. So I don't know if I'm just going to get like a little watering bulb for it that I can just stick in there so it doesn't dry out as fast or just repot it into something different, but we'll see. Um, but for now, I really, really like this one. I'm not super big on like veiny ones usually, but I have really wanted an Anthurium Michelle or like in Anthurium Zara for a while because I really like what their emergence look like and how dark they harden off. And I think this one was just a really like nice addition to my collection. And I've just been enjoying it a lot. So I'm definitely happy that I got it. And I'm excited to see it grow. Moving on to this guy back here. This one right here is another Anthurium Forgetii um, dark form. This one's actually my boyfriend's and this is the newest leaf that it put off for me. It does have a, another leaf on the way. It's kind of hidden back there right now. But I did recently just repot it and I can already see the roots coming in very healthy and happy. So I'm really excited about this one. Just because like how pretty it is. I mean, you can't really see it on camera, but it has like a blue like hue to it. It's just a very, very pretty forgetty eye. And then coming down here, we have another update. This is my Anthurium 
Ace of Purple. Uh, that was a gift for my boyfriend. I think it's been in probably every video that I've posted on, on this account. Starting with my IKEA cabinet tour. And it's actually really cool to see how this leaf like hardened off and how it looks a little bit more mature because it's definitely a lot like rounder um, than it was when I first got it. And to me, honestly, it has like a very like king of spades look to it. If we compare like the leaves, very like round. Um, but this one's definitely like a really good, good one in my collection. And it actually has a new growth point on it, so it's going to be giving off a leaf in the coming weeks. I don't know if that's focused. As well as being very well rooted, which is very nice to see because I did have some issues with the roots at some point. And I think in the last video I talked a little bit about how I got really freaked out and decided to take a second cutting, um, which is cool because in this video I'm going to be able to show you guys that second cutting, which I have down there in one of my prop boxes so you guys will see that in a little bit but yeah this is the top cutting the main one that I'm going to be growing out into a mother plant so yeah I'll obviously keep you guys updated on this one because it's a really cool one in my collection and one of my favorites moving on to this guy back here I'm not going to pull it out because it's pretty like sprawled out with some leaves that it has in the back um but this is a anthurium tim anderson black crossed with a ace of spades i believe and this is the newest leaf that it's given me which is just so so pretty it's definitely another <laughs> one of my favorites i feel like i've said that about everything i've gone over <laughs> Um, but I mean, how could it not be? The leaves literally like have sparkles in them. I don't know if you guys can see that. But if you look, the leaves are literally like sparkly. And it's just got a very pillowy like velvet texture to it on the new emergence. I just, I love this one. And I love seeing what it looks like when the leaves come out. And they harden off very dark. This is a harden off leaf from it. So yeah, just a very nice one. And then moving on, this is one that I have been really freaking out over. It's another one that I got along with my Cartel Duan haul. This is a Anthurium King of Spades. And it just finally gave me its first leaf after being with me for maybe like a month or two. Probably two months now. I mean, just look at how gorgeous that new leaf is. And I'm very, very happy with how the rooting process has gone with this one. I mean, look at how chunky those roots look. Yeah, so hopefully this can eventually become another hibernizing plant for me because, I mean, just look at how gorgeous that is. Okay, so there is everything on these top shelves. Um, I'll give you one last kind of like look around before we move down to my propagation boxes. We honestly don't have too much left to go, um, but this might be a little bit of a long video because we do actually have like a pretty decent amount. Um, I'm going to take a break and put my phone down and just kind of look over the footage that I've got and maybe eat something um, before I come back to this. But I'm going to see how long this video is already um, because I might decide just to have it as like something separate. But we will see. I'll be back soon. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's been a little bit since I actually recorded that video. Um, I recorded it on the 16th of this month. So 
June. Um, and when I'm recording this now, it's the 27th. So it's been a little bit. Um, the video after I got done recording the second half, which was like the prop boxes and all of my smaller anthurium that I had on the bottom shelves, it came out to about, I think like two hours. So it has been a process um, trying to edit. Everything is all I'll leave it at. It has been a while um, and I've just struggled, like I've said multiple times with kind of like getting motivation to sit down and like focus on that. But the first part's done. I decided to cut that in half and just turn it into two separate videos um, because, you know, two hours is pretty long. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I honestly think it's going to be pretty cool having two parts to this because, um, since I did record it a decently long time ago, um, there's actually been a lot of new growth. So I've been kind of contemplating between recording kind of like an update part to that. So as I'm editing the second part, I'll add in like updates to it. Um, but that's kind of iffy. I don't know. We'll see if I do that or not. Um, but yeah, I, I'm excited to be finished with the first part so I can finally go ahead and post this. But, um, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Uh, within, I'm hoping maybe like a week, I'll have the second part up. But for now, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the, the first part. Um, as usual, I have to plug in the plant Instagram. Um, if you guys like what you saw, if you guys want to see more of that, I have a lot more like updates and a lot more pictures of all the anthuriums that I have on that Instagram. So I'll put it right here or link it in the description, either one. But yeah, go ahead and check that out. I am sorry for all of the noises, by the way, that were in that video. Um, my house is like very close to a road that is very loud um and then also airplanes pass over pretty often so there was a lot of noises in that video so just apologies for that <laughs> um but yeah thank you thanks for watching um like i said i'll have that second part up soon hopefully but <laughs>